Hello everyone. Okay, this is Mahavir sir. I am a science teacher. So as you are having science exam on the uh, second of this month, so today we are going to discuss the most expected uh, chemistry question answers for 2025 board exam, which are definitely going to appear. Okay, so this sort of questions what we are going to discuss today is definitely going to help you in the upcoming exam. So please stay focused and any sort of feedback if you want to give, uh, you can mention in the comment. Please subscribe and uh, hit the like button. So we are going to start. Chapter wise, we are going to discuss each chapter. I have picked around 10 most important questions. So four chapters, total 40 questions we are going to discuss. Apart from that diagram, you are supposed to practice. So let us start with the, the first question. So the first chapter is the chemical reactions and equations. So in that, there is a question. Name the brown fumes liberated when lead nitrate is heated. And they are asking you to write the balanced chemical equation for the same which carries of two months. So whenever you come across the question which is about stating that about the brown color fumes, then definitely it is going to be the nitrogen dioxide. So similarly, so many other questions are there related to the change in the uh, sort of colors and all. So for example, if you take the example of the copper sulfate solution, actually it will be blue in color. But when it reacts with the iron, then the copper sulfate solution color will change into the green in color. Similarly, when the copper sulfate solution which will react with the zinc, then definitely the color will fade away. So like that, there are so many different sort of applied questions will come based on the color change you need to focus. Or in case if they ask question related to the, the metal X so and so reacting with the oxygen and uh, where it will producing the white dazzling flame and definitely that white dazzling flame is nothing about nothing else but that is going to be the magnesium oxide. So and one more question which might appear, appear related to the color changes copper sulfate uh, and the iron why does the iron nail color change into the brown so it is because of the displacement reaction as the iron is more reactive than the copper it displaces the copper from the copper sulfate solution and that displaced copper is going to deposit on the iron as the copper is brown in color definitely the iron color will change into brown in color keep all those things in mind if you are forgetting better to uh, write down the notes rough notes so that you can have the glands once in a while hardly you have got two days remaining that's a plenty amount of time and write the balance equation for the reaction lead nitrate it's breaking down into lead oxide nitrogen dioxide and the oxygen here the nitrogen dioxide is a brown color fumes and you are supposed to practice the balance equation that is compulsory they are going to ask one particular question which carries the two to three marks which is all about the balancing the chemical equation they might give in terms of the word equation they might give in the form of the uh, sentence or they might give uh, the chemical names and ask you to balance the equation apart from practicing there is no other shortcut so that you can you know write the chemical equation whichever method your teachers has been taught in your schools please do practice the balancing equation definitely it's going to help you out in this first chapter so the next question goes over here the possible chemical reaction among the following is okay so here the question which is given especially mcq's questions and all most of you guys you do mistakes uh, well we are opting out the the right answer first you go across all the four options then you choose the right one here the C option is correct one. Why? Because the copper is more reactive than the silver. So it can displace the silver from the silver nitrate. But remaining when you see the options, lead is less reactive than the iron or the iron is less reactive than the zinc in the B option. Or when you go for the D option, the copper is less reactive than the lead. So they cannot displace as reactivity series. You need to buy it at any cost because based on that definitely one or two marks question is going to appear in upcoming board exam that is for 100 percent sure. So the next one is again one of the most important question that is third question you can see here oxidation and reduction. We, if you go across all the five years question paper or preparatory or the model question paper which the government has provided us every year it is being repeated continuously they are asking about the oxidation and reduction it is very simple to remember 
copper oxide we will see a question here copper oxide plus hydrogen when they react it will produce the copper plus water oxidation means what for any particular element if the oxygen is going to add now you can see on the screen to the hydrogen after the reaction hydrogen is converted to the water because to the hydrogen oxygen is added that means hydrogen is undergoing oxidation but when you see the copper oxide it is getting converted into copper that means from the copper oxide the oxygen is been removed so that is nothing but the reduction reaction or the copper oxide is, is reduced so whenever you are writing copper oxide is reduced or hydrogen is oxidized some of them what i have seen in the while correcting the papers and all most of them you write uh, the uh, element from the or the product from the uh, product side like copper is oxidized or the water is oxidized or reduced no you are going to consider from the reactant side and you are supposed to write the answer which is oxidized which is reduced or which has undergone oxidation and the reduction if in case if they ask the which is the agent reducing agent and oxidizing agent it will be the reverse of the oxidation and the reduction so next one is the fourth question okay again see what are questions i am coming across here they are literally very very important 100% might be slightly they might change the questions little bit but the concept is same understanding concept plays uh, very important so please stay focused so now this one how many times they asked uh, there is no uh, counting of the number only that concept is about the double displacement reaction the reaction of the barium chloride and the aluminum sulfate solution is an example for which type of chemical reaction and why if it's so and so reaction they're asking why it is called and so and so reaction and you are supposed to write the balanced chemical equation for this particular reaction barium chloride and aluminum sulfate they might ask or barium chloride or sodium sulfate they might ask or if they they are going to ask about uh, silver chloride and so and so so these are the example of the double displacement reaction along with that these reactions are also called as precipitation reaction why because when are the barium chloride and aluminum sulfate this both are solution this both are solution when they react no when this both will react then what is going to form on the product side there is a formation of the white precipitate of the barium sulfate hence it is also called as what it is also called as precipitation reaction remember okay it's also called as precipitation reaction because insoluble particles are going to form when these two solutions are going to react okay very very important keep that in mind and you need to practice the uh, you know uh, equations or the so called the chemical reaction there is no shortcut uh, in this okay slightly here they are not put the uh, arrow mark please correct it and in textbook they i think so they are given about the barium chloride and the sodium sulfate so whatever all are double displacement definitely there is going to uh, be the formation of the white precipitate so next question is see uh, the next question itself uh, uh, what we are discussing they are given the same the chemical reaction that takes place between the sodium sulfate and the barium chloride is called a double displacement why they are asking why they tell you why it is called as double displacement reaction because there will be a exchange of the mutual or so called there will be a mutual exchange of the ions taking place between the barium and the aluminum or the barium and the sodium hence we are calling it as a double displacement reaction in case if they ask why it is called a precipitation reaction as i mentioned there will be formation of the white precipitate of the barium sulfate hence we are calling it as the the precipitation reaction so hope uh, you are understanding uh, the next question is again see here rancidity what is rancidity name any two methods to prevent the rancidity either they will ask the rancidity or prevention or they might ask only uh, uh, what are the methods of the prevention of the rancidity or they might ask why the how, why we need to prevent the rancidity at all so what is rancidity any food items yavade onda aahara galu adralli oil athwa fat ittu andra when it is exposed to the air avagenati it will get oxidized when this oil or fat food items will get oxidized they will become rancid means what they produce the false smell and they taste very badly so that is that is nothing but the rancid how we can prevent it by cutting the connection between the oxygen with the food items which are containing the oil or the fat how we can do that first one is by using the antioxidants 
okay and the second one is by keeping in the refrigerator or by keeping in the airtight container so we can prevent the rancidity or sometimes they'll ask why the nitrogen gas uh, is flushed in the uh, the chips packets and all nitrogen gas will prevent the, from the oxidation acts as an antioxidant that's the reason they might ask the give reason also vice versa then next one see here based on the chemical type for chemical reactions are there combination reaction is there displacement is there double displacement is there addition is there or so called hydrogenation is there based on that they might give one example and ask you to detect the or uh, tell the which type of reaction it is uh, say for example see uh, remember that all the combustion reactions are or so called uh, combination reactions are uh, or combustion uh, sorry not combination combustion reactions are exothermic in nature remember okay they, they might give uh, uh, burning of the methane burning of methane means when you burn the methane it will take to the oxygen it will produce large amount of heat that is also called as what exothermic reaction and all the decomposition reactions are endothermic in nature because they utilize the heat then only a single reactant can break down into two or more product displacement reaction is very simple a more reactive element will displace a re less reactive element from its compound displacement and a double displacement reaction mutual exchange of the ions will be taking place so remember all the types of reaction based on that they will ask the question now here uh, now, now uh, in the seventh question you can see the name the type of the reaction in the following cases garbage produced false smell okay any garbage any decomposition is nothing but the decomposition reaction burning of anything is nothing but what it is a combination reaction burning of anything is the combination or we can tell it is a exothermic reaction and carbon dioxide gas pass through the lime water so when you take the lime water take a straw when you dip inside and blow the air the carbon dioxide we are letting out into the lime water lime water formula is caoh twice so what will happen the carbon dioxide and calcium hydroxide will react to form the white precipitate of the calcium carbonate and that's the reason it is also called as the precipitation reaction okay remember so three more things uh, related to the lime water the so lime water formula is the calcium hydroxide remember caoh twice quick lime cao limestone cao3 calcium carbonate remember these three things let us go for the next question that is the eighth question see here based on again the color change you need to focus on this a shiny brown color element x on heating in the air becomes a black colored compound name the element x and the black color compound formed also write the chemical equation remember again based on this concept whenever the copper is going to react with the oxygen present in the atmosphere it is going to form the copper oxide and that copper oxide is black colored compound in case if the copper is going to react with the moist carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere the, that is going to form the copper carbonate and that will be greenish in color similarly when it comes to the silver when it exposed to the sunlight it will change its color to gray in color that's the reason silver uh, articles or the silver uh, it, uh, uh, any uh, equipments or the articles they are stored under the dark color bottle they might ask the questions based on this concept also so remember all the changes of the colors happening don't get confused and you know, why it is happening okay so you can see here element x is a copper black colored compound it is a copper oxide and they are given the reaction copper plus oxygen that is the copper oxide this copper oxide itself is the black color compound if it is reacting with the carbon dioxide copper carbonate will be the greenish colored compound so next one again the same question you can see what happens when the carbon dioxide gas pass through the lime water and why does it appear uh, sorry why does it disappear on passing excess amount of the carbon dioxide again here one more important question is there whenever i am telling any sort of question this is 100% sure 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 they are going to ask us just note down all those things because i hardly got a time actually i came to know that uh, the goto sir was telling me that you need to because social science he made a uh, video you can go and check that out of 60 marks uh, okay around you know 45 50 marks appeared in the last board exam so students were asking him to make the you know uh, the science uh, video of the same so in very uh, uh, less amount of time i was able to make this video so if any feedback if any errors please uh, forgive me okay if anything uh, you feel you can just put across the in the comment box so that i can just do well in the 
next video which i'm going to uh, do uh, the biology one uh, by afternoon i think so it is going to uh, be there in the youtube channel of the sir so this question here what happens when the carbon dioxide gas is passed through the lime water and why does it disappear on passing excess amount of carbon dioxide just now i mentioned in the previous question when we were discussing when carbon dioxide pass in the lime water that is lime water is calcium hydroxide it is going to form the white precipitate of calcium carbonate along with that what is going to form after formation of the white precipitate of calcium carbonate and water if you start passing again excess amount of the carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide excess amount of carbon dioxide again it is going to react with the calcium carbonate and it is going to form the compound so called calcium hydrogen carbonate that is cahco3 twice that time what will happen the white precipitate will fade or it is going to diminish and you are supposed to write the equation whenever they are asking any sort of question if there is example if there is a chemical equation for that please do mention don't uh, think that in the question they have not asked the write the equations or the example for any sort of chemistry questions or biology or physics anything so that, that will help uh, uh, you to gain the good number of marks the next question see here the 10th question this will be the last question of this chapter chemical reaction and equation mention the reason the color changes observed when silver chloride is exposed to sunlight copper powder is strongly heated in the presence of the oxygen a piece of zinc is dropped in the copper sulfate solution and the first one uh, and the when a silver chloride is left exposed to sunlight what is going to happen is the color changes it to gray in color because it decomposes to silver in the presence of sunlight because of decomposition that's why then silver is uh, is stored under the dark color bottle if it is exposed to the sunlight and all definitely it's going to change why it is what is the reason because silver will react with the sulfur which is present inside the in the atmosphere copper i told reacting with oxygen black color compound copper oxide and copper when it reacts with the carbon dioxide it is going to change into greenish in color now silver when it is exposed to sunlight okay and definitely it is going to change the color into gray in color then when copper powder is strongly heated in the presence of the oxygen then the reddish brown surface of the copper powder becomes coated with the black colored substance which is because of the formation of the copper oxide or so called cuo okay already we discussed the same thing and when a piece of zinc is dropped in a copper sulfate solution remember copper sulfate color is blue in color when it reacts with the zinc displacement reaction takes place and the color will fade away or the blue color will become colorless but if the copper sulfate solution reacts with the iron then the color will change into green in color remember all this don't get confused that's the reason i ask you to all the changes in the color are there which are related to this question just roughly list down all these things so that there will be no questions uh, at the while writing the exams and all okay and when it comes to the diagram show short one question for sure so many times they ask and very very simple diagram that is the electrolysis of water electrolysis of water based on if they in case if they miss the this question no as in the diagram they might ask which gas is liberated at the cathode and anode remember one hint that cathode th h is there no, in the cathode hydrogen gas is liberated at the cathode and anode o is there that means oxygen will be liberated at the anode end. don't get confused about the questions which are related to the electrolysis of the water or while labeling also they might ask or graphite road they last or they might ask the um, to mention the gas which are liberated at the which end and all so here ends your uh, chapter uh, 10 questions we have discussed i try to explain all the uh, possible ways to make you understand hope you're understanding some might be in uh, kana medium and all i'll try to just uh, focus little bit uh, uh, on the uh, using few kannada uh, words uh, for the next video of the acid basis and salts pause sir